Where did you grow up? In Cory Bay, Zhang Yichong. And you know, it was really nice environment there. There's no tall houses. It's just a few houses. You see some trams once in a while, and then a taxi once in a while. Hardly any traffic. I, I was already a bit of a rebel. The more, especially my dad, you know, forbid me doing this or staying out late, the more I would do that kind of thing, get beaten up. And I was the first generation hippies. I was the first generation of skateboarder. And I got all my elbow torn open, you know, blood stained over my shirts and everything. I keep doing it because I, I just enjoy, enjoy doing that. Which of the Porsche cars are you most proud of? Yeah, this is a tough question. It's like, you know, every, every creation is like, it's like your own child. Uh, maybe my favorite was the first one, the 996. Because it started the kind of success story at Porsche, and it's also, it really rescued. Porsche from, from sold out to Mercedes and Toyota. They were waiting at the door. One of the tricks to, to stay ahead of your competitor or your colleague is instead of making one step ahead, you have to make two steps ahead. How do you think two steps ahead? Yeah, uh, it's, um, it's, it's like science fiction sometimes. So most of the uh, top designers, they are science fiction freak. Are you? Oh, I'm a totally. We all, I always pick the, fi the, the, midnight, the midnight show so that on my way back, to, back home after the science fiction, I would turn off the light on the motorway. You drive with, without light, then it's like traveling through space. Do you have any advice for young people today? Oh, it's, it's always about passion. P passion is really the top of the list. You really have to like what you do. Yeah. There's, there's, no, there's no easy easy way. It's always hard work. You always through hard work. And a lot of time, you know, it's like 10 hours a day is nothing. <laughs> it's like a lot of time we thought, Oh, maybe tomorrow I should bring a sleeping bag, you know, I sleep in the company. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a high price always. I pay a high price. I have a divorce. Uh, <laughs> I hardly see my boys. That's the price I pay. Are you doing things in China right now? Oh, that project is done already. It's uh, just a consultants and uh, branding. But my project, uh, I call it an ongoing project, but now it's starting to materialize. Has a lot to do with China. I'm there to say, I don't want to throw in names, but all the big establishment in car industry, they will be so upset when they see my car. It's a Chinese car. But with the power of killing all the top performance cars, 